Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to another match vlog. Today we'll go to the Emmett Stadium for Brighton versus Southampton. Brighton are three points away for qualifying for European football for next season. Boy, I'm just hoping we do it. Um, be nice to do it today in front of the home crowd as well. Um, but yeah, let's just get down there, see what's going to happen. I'm nervous and excited, just in case you're wondering. But anyway, let's just go see what's going to happen. So guys, give a big crap for that if you do enjoy this. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and let's go. Oh, 
qualified for Europe for that season. What a phenomenal season this has been. We still ain't done yet, but let's just see what happens in the remaining series. Right, so there you go guys, home now. Um, Brighton have reached European qualification for the first time ever in their history. Um, what a brilliant time to be a Brighton fan. Uh, yeah, I can't quite believe, can't quite get that over it yet. Got to take, I think it's got to take a while for it to settle in. Um, but we've done it, you know, Matt is now said and done. And I'm just going to lay back here. Because what a season it has been. Um, obviously, it's still got. Um, so we've still got uh, Man City and Filler to come up. Um, that Filler game decides roughly where we're going to play next season. But, you know, Europa League or Europa League Conference. Mainly, it should be Europa League, but I don't know what stage that would be at yet. Um, I've got to look all that up. But. We've done it. We have done it for the first time ever in Albion's history. European qualification. So next season, Europa League vlogs will be on my channel. Um, and I'm looking forward to doing it all for you again. Um, yet again, thanks for your magnificent support during the season. Uh, you know, it really does mean a lot, especially when I've gone to the long journeys and the Albion ain't quite worked out the results that we wanted it to. Um, and thanks to VAR. Um, I wouldn't expect to be saying that this season, but so far, even though there's still two games remaining, it's took us five points off us, but it's given us six. So VAR is a plus at the minute, and the reason I say that is because VAR will cut this score, and um, it's given offside by VAR, not the on-field linesman. So without VAR, two-two, we'd be looking at a whole different football match, whole different ball game, you know, we may not come away with the three points today. Um but yeah, hopefully it stays like that. Um as I said, VAR is not there to be our friend, but I'm gonna bring this long video to an end. Uh guys, I hope you have enjoyed it. Oh just one more thing while we um remember I do try and catch the uh, first two goals but my phone won't work properly so I will look that up and I'll try and work out what's gone wrong. But yeah I did get the one so yeah apologies for the uh first two goals missed but hey oh that's where it goes i must look at that before uh wednesday's game against man city but anyway guys you know what to do if you enjoyed this video go big crap thumbs up if you have enjoyed it and you are looking forward to albion's ride in your open league next season your open league your open league conference one of the two europe anyway if you're looking Give a big thumbs up if you are looking forward to Albion in Europe next season. Um, subscribe for more, as you always do. Thanks for watching, and I'm going to have a long chair for now. Catch you Wednesday at Hunter City. Up the Albion.